Well, new this morning, the results from the District 36 runoff election. Denise Innett is the unofficial winner, beating out Daryl Stevens for the House seat. And Innett and Stevens were in a runoff because they re received the most primary votes, the vo most votes in the primary election in August. The spot required a special election because Representative Charles Blake resigned in May to become part of Little Rock Mayor Frank Scott Jr.'s chief of staff. I would tell you what, there are a lot of really great artists here in Arkansas, but you would be hard pressed to find one as passionate as the one you are about to meet. In West Little Rock, inside this garage, works of art are being brought back to life. Reclaimed wooden rockers, hand painted by an artist named Andy. He's just cool and fun and, and he just has a really great message. Fellow artist Carolyn remembers the first time she saw an Andy original. And I'm going, oh my gosh, Andy, that's so brilliant. Don't touch it. It's fantastic. It is art that moves you. Like I wanted to cry. This is so powerful. Art made especially emotional because Carolyn is Andy's yeah. mom. And I love that. And this is Andy. So this is me. At 21 years old, Andy Arnold is full of passion. It just rocked my world because I love doing chairs. It's all I do. And refuses to let anyone I am uh, a mattress hander. Put limits on what he can do. Because my mom and my dad never put limits on me. Andy has painted yeah. dozens yeah. of these chairs. And I sign in the bottom right there. Chairs that first sold for 50 bucks now go for more than $600 and are in homes coast to coast. And that's how you sand a, a cool chair. In his spare time, Andy likes to encourage special needs kids by teaching them art and encourage everyone by selling his shirts with his Andyisms written on them. It's called living, living with no limits. When he's not speaking through his art or his shirts, he's speaking through social media. Andy's chairs has more than 4,500 followers. Go have a good day. I give you permission to have a good day. It seems like most days would be good days hanging around Andy. Me. <laughs> and when our day was over and we asked him if there was anything else he'd like to talk about, well, just listen to the wisdom of a man who the world said would be different. And say, don't put limits on your children. Let them be where they want you to be. If they want to be a actor, not go do that. Go just live a dream. Just, just go be yourself. If only more of us could be different, like this artist named Andy. Oh, Love that I guy. I bet you right stayed there. there for a while. I did. And I to did. Him. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to leave. You can check out Andy's chairs, his shirts, his canvases on andyschairs.com right now or on his Facebook page called Andy's Chairs. We have a link on this for both of those on our website, th11.com. But look at the look at the artistry. Oh, Just I looking know. deeper into these paintings I, and these pictures and the so chairs. Oh, what does he use goodness. the money for? So he's well to get more chairs and to get okay. more paint and things like that. He's actually sponsored by a big paint company. Uh, forget the name of it at this mm -hmm. point, but he's going to later on donate. Um, some chairs and donate some some money from some of the canvases he's making to oh, wounded warriors. His brother cool. is the disabled veteran, um, and his ultimate goal is not only to you know to give to disabled veterans, mm -hmm. but also to create an Andy Arnold Foundation. Oh. He wants to house, clothe, and feed disabled veterans. So oh some gosh. of the money goes to, to to create more art. Some of it goes to to helping veterans. And yeah, they they I believe got five thousand dollars they raised recently wow. um, for some disabled. Oh, veterans. I would spend money on that. I love that. It's a beautiful, beautiful chair. Yeah.